Okay, here we are. The G102 Hero. So we're gonna un be unboxing this thing with one hand. Black, because I'm racist. The white. Ooh. Ooh. So we open this. We get this beauty. This feels chonky. So we won't be needing that. Good. So let's plug this thing in. Starting up. IGB. Okay. Let's just get the one or two out of the way here. This whole mouse. Just hang to its death. It deserves to die. I'm supposed to open this part. Alright, let's Ooh, look at that. Oh, I think this is the place where I'm supposed to put the weights. My first thoughts on this mouse are it feels chunky and very heavy. The click buttons are small so you can't click properly the slides are not that smooth to be honest i don't know why they just feel rough maybe it's just because the mouse is heavy it gets comfortable after use but like it still feels weird no i sometimes play with the g102 and i when i just feel like that feels so much freer in my hand i like the button me like buttons 11 buttons to be specific i don't know why you need that much but it's there Okay, so we'll discuss about the pros and cons of this mouse. So first, the pro is that it has a lot of buttons. That's obvious, 11 buttons. Next is, it has a great sensor, like 5 or 2 hero 25,000 or something. You could go to 25,000 dpi. I don't know why any sane man would play on 25,000 dpi, but... Okay, the customizability is really good, like Logitech G-Hub. And the macros on this stuff are insane, like... There's already so many pre-built macros on the software itself. You could do a lot of stuff in just a push of a button. Sounds like something a lazy person would do, but we do not judge. Scroll is drip. Look, look at what I'm gonna do here. Oh, play the Like, like, look at my hand. It literally looks like I'm having a mental seizure while playing Bed Wars. I can drag click, which is good, but I can't drag click, which is not good. You can't blame that on me. I just, I'm bad. This mouse drag clicks well, even like without a dip. The surface is good. Now we talk about the cons of this mouse. Spoiler, there's a lot. It is chunky and it is uncomfortable to game with, yes. That is the thing about this mouse. It's big, it's huge, it's not ergonomic, it's just weird. It does not feel it's just big and heavy like your mother. And it is uncomfortable for 118 pvp since like the buttons, the click buttons are small and like you can't butterfly click and stuff, stuff which is bad for 1.18 It does not have like good slides, like the slides are kind of bad but like for this price point I expect really good slides It's not light, like it's like 150 grams or something, 128 The first rating is comfort in which I will give it a 5 out of 10 Ergonomics. I'll give that also a 5. Ergonomics is just like weird to aim and play with this mouse. Features. I give the features an 8 out of 10. The customization is really good. It has a lot of buttons which is good for certain purposes. Looks. I give the looks 8 out of 10. It just looks clean and nice. Like it doesn't look too flashy or anything like that. Performance. So I give this an 8 out of 10. Like the sensor is good. Like you can like it's precise that the mouse is just not easy to move around the sense it's good but and all okay overall ratings are 34 out of 50 this is this is ratings based on minecraft like if i would recommend this i would recommend this mouse for like fps and stuff but like for minecraft not really Now, final verdict. If you want to buy a mouse for Minecraft PvP, there are so many better options out there. And I recommend the G102 over this for Minecraft PvP since it's an, an overall more comfortable mouse. This mouse is a really good mouse for general use. It does not feel very comfortable, but like for everyday use, this is a really good mouse. And even for FPS games and stuff, like this mouse is a good general gaming mouse.